One evening weekend at Mr. Kent's house. I love this kind of music, dear. You indeed know how to choose it. Haha, <laughs> it's good that you love it. This kind of music is also good for our child. Susan, the house is clean already. You don't have to continue doing it anymore. Otherwise, I can use the house floor as the mirror. Oh, okay. Make her some warm milk. And please hurry up. Okay, sir. Here you go, madam. Please be careful. The cup is a little hot. Thank you, Susan. I'm done, thanks. Help me to clean it up, Susan. Did it taste good? Yeah, it tasted a little sweet. Come on, let's go to sleep, dear. Okay, Kent. I'm sleepy already. Go home, Susan. Excuse me. A few weeks later. Oh, what's happening to me? I don't feel so well. Hey, what's wrong with you? My stomach is insanely hurt. Oh no, this is not good. I need to take you to the hospital. Madam, your warm milk is here. Drink this. Not now, Susan. Put that on my table and help me to call the ambulance. Okay, sir. This is an emergency. Send an ambulance here. Hurry up, please. They're coming. Help her go downstairs. At the hospital. Doctor, what's wrong with my wife? Will she be okay? She will. Oh, thank God. But your child is gone. What did you say? Your baby no longer exists. The reason is that your wife has absorbed too many strange foods. Those things affected your baby. That's all I can tell you. I'm so sorry. You should stay here with her. Excuse me. My baby is gone. My baby is gone. Hoo hoo hoo. Mr. Kent turned insane after losing his child. He developed hatred toward his wife, and her only friend was Susan. Hoo hoo hoo. My baby. Kent, what are you doing? Get down from the bed. No, get out of my room. How could you do that to me? Why can't I? That was all your fault. Our child is gone because of you. Get out of my sight. He is such a terrible husband. How can I overcome those horrible days? Mrs. Charlotte, why are you here? Susan, haven't you come home yet? Well, I intended to come home. But I heard you and Mr. Kent argued, so I stayed a little longer to check. I know your pain, Mrs. Charlotte. I hope you can overcome it soon. If there's anything I can do for you, please tell me. Thank you, Susan. At least I still have you to comfort me. Let's go. I will take you to the room on the first floor. Wait here. I will be right back. Drink this herbal tea. It will help you to fall asleep easier. Thanks. I'm going home now. It's late already. You can stay here, Susan. What can I? Yes, you can sleep on the sofa. Yeah, that makes sense. I can take care of you if anything happens this evening. Good night, Mrs. Charlotte. Good night, Susan. One day. Hey, what are you doing? What? Those things can no longer be used. Why must we keep them? Now stop bothering me. Oh, Susan, huh? Take her away. Mrs. Charlotte, it's not good for you here. Inhaling too much smoke will be bad for you. Let's go. One Sunday morning. Kent, today is a Sunday. Can you take me out for a walk? Do I look like I have time for that? Please, Kent. I need you to overcome these times. Together, we can have another child again soon. Leave me alone. I'm so tired of you. Hayes, he has changed. Was that all my fault? Good morning, Mrs. Charlotte. Good morning, Susan. You look unwell. You can say that. I will try to finish my work this morning quickly. And then I will take you out for a walk. Maybe you'll need some fresh air. No, Susan, leave it. You don't have to do the chores today. Just take me out. Oh, okay.
Mrs. Charlotte, I think you should sit down. We have been walking for more than one hour. Okay. Can you tell me why things turn out like this? Yeah, I also need someone to share anyway. As you know, our child has gone. But instead of being by my side and encouraging me, Kent always blamed me. He always insisted that the baby going to the afterlife was my fault. I'm so sad. It's okay. I'm always here for you. Now, let's take you home. Thanks, Susan. I think you are a trustworthy person. I can't either tell my friends or my family about what happened, but you made me comfortable to tell you everything. Thank you, Mrs. Charlotte. I won't betray your faith. Come on, let's take you home. I will make you some more herbal tea. Okay, take me home, Susan. That evening. Reheat the tea with some honey whenever you want to use it, Mrs. Charlotte. Thank you. Come home safety. Don't worry. Welcome home, Kent. Good evening, dear. Listen, I'm so sorry for everything I did to you. That fault was neither mine nor yours. It was just that fate didn't allow us to have a child yet. Thank you, Kent. It's good that you understand it now. Do you want to eat something? No, I'm full. I will take a shower. Then we will go to bed soon. Okay. I want a cup of herbal tea with honey before going to bed today. Good night, dear. I'm going to sleep now. Sweet dreams, Kent. But after that, something strange and horrible happened to Charlotte in the morning. Charlotte, what time is this? Wake up, dear. Oh, what the? Who the hell are you? Get out of here. Where is my wife? What are you talking about? I'm Charlotte. What? You know my wife's name? I am your wife, Kent. This is crazy. Here, take this. Look at yourself in the mirror. What? What is happening to me? How can I know? What should I do now? Hoo hoo hoo. I look like a 90-year-old lady. That's just creepy. Enough craziness in my life these days already. Get out of my house. We will divorce. Who knows what craziness you'll bring me in the future? What? Get out of my house. Or I'll call the police. Hoo hoo hoo. A few days later. Why is this happening to me? All I want is a child, a family. Am I too greedy? But then. It looks like we can't find anything today. Let's go home, Dad. Yeah, it's late now. Luckily for us. There is still a pack of instant soup at our place. Let's go home for dinner. Yay! Yay. Help me. Save me. It's so cold. Hold on a sec. I think I just heard someone's voice. Dad, Dad, over there. A woman? Dad, what should we do now? Should we take her to our place? Yes, we should. I still have five dollars left. We will buy her something to eat too. Okay, okay Dad. Dad. In an alley. Will she be okay? I think so. Come on, children. Let her rest. We should be quiet and have dinner now. Yay! Yay. No, no, did I say be quiet? Oops, Oops. we're, we're sorry. sorry. After that. Oh, where am I? What a pain in the head. Look, she woke up. Granny, you okay now? Huh, why am I here? And hey, why did you call me Granny? I don't want to be rude, but you look like a 90-year-old lady. I have no idea why I look like this after a night. I don't even know who did this to me. But what happened? How did you find me? You fainted on the bench, so we brought you here. We are all homeless people. You can stay here with us if you don't mind. We will find a solution for you later. Thank you. Even strangers like you can treat me nicely. But my husband... Our child passed away even before he was born. My husband showed anger toward me because of that, even though that wasn't my fault. And then he kicked me out when I became like this. I'm so sorry for you. But don't worry. We won't leave you. Yeah, you can stay here with us. Thank you. I promise I will repay you one day if I have a chance. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Welcome to our home. Meanwhile, Kent. Oh, this is the best red wine ever. 
But where, where is my son? Where are you? Charlotte, where are you? Mr. Kent, I'm leaving now. Oh, Charlotte, here you are. Hey, what are you doing? I'm not Charlotte. I'm Susan. What nonsense are you saying? I miss you, dear. No. I'm sorry, Charlotte. I always love you. Don't leave me. The next morning. Oh, what happened? What a headache. Huh, Susan? What, what are you doing here? Leave me alone. Hey. Three weeks later. Mr. Kent, we need to talk. What? I'm pregnant. So what? Do you want to have a break for a few months? I will give you some money. Are you serious? You are my baby's father. What on earth did you just say? I know you won't believe it. Then look at this. Oh, Charlotte, here you are. Hey, what are you doing? I'm not Charlotte. I'm Susan. What nonsense are you saying? I miss you, dear. No. No, it cannot be. Did you trap me? You can say so. Go away. You will have nothing from me. Fine, I will send this video to the police station. Mr. Kent, you will go to jail. Wait, don't do that. What? Had a change of heart. Fine, I will give you whatever you want. That's what I want to hear. Make me your wife. Okay. A few weeks later. Meanwhile, Charlotte and the two children. Mrs. Charlotte, come down here. No, thank you. I can't swim. Don't worry. We will hold you. Besides, this place is shallow. Yeah. This river is so clean. Come here and have a shower with us. Oh, okay. This is refreshing. I know you would say so. But suddenly. Ouch. Something just bit me. No way. What, a snake? Oh, oh no. no. Charlotte. Please, wake up. What happened? She was bitten by a snake while in the water. What? Are you kidding me? There's no hospital around here. But a few hours later. Dad, what should we do now? Will she be okay? Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Huh? What just happened to me? Did a snake bite me? Yeah, it's been hours. Hours? But that snake bite hasn't affected me yet. I even feel that my body is changing. How? Whoa. Whoa. You look so pretty. What do you mean? Look at yourself. I'm back to normal. Excuse me, I need to come back to my house. Thank you for helping me. I will come back to repay you soon. It's okay. We need nothing from you. No, I will come back. Hey, you dropped your phone. Back to Kent's house. Kent, Kent. Jesus, shut up. Stop screaming in my house. Huh, Susan? Is that you? Why would you say that? What kind of stupid question is that? I am the owner of this house now. What? You fool, I am Kent's wife now. No, I don't understand anything at all. You are so poor now, Charlotte. All right. To compensate you, I'll let you know one truth. What truth? I am the one behind all of your tragedies. What do you mean? Well, I think the pill is dissolved. I only need to let her drink two more times, and she can say goodbye to her baby. Another another time. This poison can only be neutralized by bathing in river water and being bitten by a venomous snake. No one can find out about this. Charlotte, I will turn you into an old lady forever. Ha ha. Back to present. You, why? It's very simple. I love your husband, and I want to become rich. You don't deserve him. That's all. Susan, you cruel devil. How dare you harm my child? I'll destroy you. Oh shit. This is not good. Huh? What is that? A basketball? Susan, you liar. Do you want to fight? Bring it on. Enough. You should get out of here. Hey, you beggar. Who the hell are you? How dare you enter my house without my permission? Shut up, you succubus. 
You don't have the right to speak such words about our father. Hey, you little insolent girl. Do you want me to teach you a lesson? Stay down. Mrs. Charlotte, I think you forgot this thing at our place. But I know how to use this thing, and I'm recording everything. Maybe it can help you. What? My phone? Here you go. Ha ha ha. I've got the evidence. Let's see what Kent would say about this. No, give it to me. Stay back. Hey, take it gently, you moron. I'm a woman. You mean a witch, huh? Shut up, you insolent boy. What is going on here? Who are you? What are you doing in my house? Hi, Kent. What, Charlotte? How did you get back to normal? Huh? A basketball? Susan, you belly is back to normal. What on earth is going on? Look at this yourself. You'll be able to answer everything. No. I think the pill is dissolved. I only need to let her drink two more times, and she can say goodbye to her baby. Another another time. This poison can only be neutralized by bathing in river water and being bitten by a venomous snake. No one can find out about this. Charlotte, I will turn you into an old lady forever. Ha ha. I love your husband. And I want to become rich. You don't deserve him. That's all. Susan, everything was all your scheme. I won't forgive you. Prepare to meet Satan, you succubus. Shit. I'll tear you apart. Richard, help me to restrain him. What are you doing? Let me go. I had to escape here. Not so fast. Stay, Stay down, down there, there, you, you mummy. mummy. Charlotte, I know my mistakes already. Can you please forgive me and come back? I will think about that. But do you think you owe them a thank you? They just helped us. Ah, right. Thank you. Can I know who you are? As you can see, we are nobody. But we will help anyone who needs some help if we can. They took care of me when you kicked me out of the house. They even worked harder to give me proper meals. And most important, they didn't even ask me to repay them. That's right. We don't need anything. You should call the police so they can arrest this criminal. Excuse us, we're leaving. You can come back to visit us in that alley whenever you want. Hold on a sec. Alley, don't you have a house? No. Then stay here with us. What? Can we? Yeah, stay here. We have a small house in the garden. I want you to work as the butler in my house. And I will take care of your children. You should let them go to school, right? Dad. I want to go to school. I want to go to school too. They are right. Please accept that offer. Oh, okay. Thank, Thank you, you for, for helping, helping us. us. Don't say that. We really want to repay you. But now I think we should send the succubus to the police station. Good idea. I'll call the police. Hello, is that 911? Can you please come here? There's a criminal in our house. Thank you. Where is the criminal? That's her. I will come to the police station later to work if needed. Can you please take her away now? Very well. Good, Good riddance. riddance. It's all all right now. Darling, I will say it again. Can you please forgive me? Because of all the good you do for my benefactors, I will forgive you. Thank you, dear. Welcome home. With all the evidence provided by Kent and Charlotte, Susan was sentenced to 10 years in prison and then a weekend day at the zoo. Wow, this is the first time I've been to a zoo. I love this place. Yep, but I think I can make it better. Hello, are you enjoying your weekend? Yes, madam. My children love this place. Well, you know what? This zoo belongs to us. What? Really? How impressive. Haha, <laughs> thanks. By the way, can I say something? Okay, what is that? We need to add more plants to the zoo like edible flowers and Venus flytrap. Those plants will attract more tourists. Hum, that makes sense. There are too many animals and too few plants here. Besides, there are a few plants that have wilted. Perhaps that is the reason why the number of visitors has dropped recently. We just found the solution, but how would we perform that? Maybe I can help you with that. Can you? Yeah, I have some expertise in growing and taking care of plants. Okay, so be it. A short time after that. Wow, 
Those plants make the zoo looks a lot more better. Yep, I can feel like I'm in a forest. Hey, can you please take me a photo? Yeah, sure. No problem. We should come here usually. I agree. Well, your solution worked. From now on, you will be the manager of this place. You can earn your own money. What? Are you serious? Yes, of course. Good luck with that. Someone else will help you. So there's nothing to be worried about. Besides, I want to repay you for everything you've done for us. Okay, thank you. I will try my best. Well spoken. I'm counting on you. Two years later, luck finally comes to Kent and Charlotte. I can't take it anymore. Try a little more, dear. You'll be fine. Stay here with her. I won't leave. An hour later. Congratulations. You baby boy is so healthy. Thank, Thank you, you, doctor. I'm out of here. Call me if you need help. Okay, thanks. Good. God has finally answered our prayer. Welcome to the world, Jason. We, we love, love you. you. The end. One evening at Mr. Edwards' house. I'm done. Excuse me. I'm going to the living room now. Okay, son. Hey, but you haven't finished your meal yet. Stay here and finish it, Patrick. No, I'm so full. See ya. Hey, you. It's okay, dear. Don't mind him. After dinner. Dad, I want to show you this. Huh? What could it be? Please wait here. Tada. Wow. Well done, girl. Do you want a reward? No, Dad. I'm good. Okay. Have it your way. I will give you a surprise later. Wow. That sounds interesting. Try harder, dear. I will, Dad. Can you keep your voice down? I'm trying to watch the TV. Oh, I'm sorry. Try to get a bad grade even just one time. I'll teach you a lesson. Darling, why would you say that to her? If you didn't want to give her a compliment, then you didn't have to be harsh with her either. Whatever. Mommy, Daddy, I also have an applause. Can I have a reward too? Wow, you are so smart. I'm proud of you, Patrick. Just proud? I thought you would be so proud of me. Ha <laughs> ha. Right. I'm so proud of you. Good job, Patrick. Thanks. So what do you want? I want an iPad. What? But that's expensive. I don't think I can afford that. Darling, give me your credit card. And you will use that to buy him an iPad, huh? That's right. That's not going to happen. What? Why do you always prefer Bethany over Patrick? He's also your son. And he deserves a reward for his good grade. But he is just a 10 years old boy. Giving him an iPad now is too soon. Focus on studying, Patrick. You will have your reward later. Ugh, how angry. Don't be sad, dear. I will give you an iPad soon, okay? Okay, Mom. Thank you. I'm going to my room now. I'm leaving too. That evening. Edward is not here. This is my chance. Aha, uh -huh, here it is. Two days later. What? Someone used for $180 from my credit card. Was it stolen? No. It's still here. Ha ha ha. What a nice gift. I can play this all day. What was that? What? Patrick, where did you get that? Did you use my credit card to buy it? No, why would you ask that? It was me, Edward. I used your credit card and bought him the iPad. What? Are you kidding me? Come on. He deserves it. Courtney, you are spoiling him. Come on. Give it to me. No, Dad. It's mine. What are you trying to do? But suddenly... Good evening, teacher. I'm listening. Good morning, Mr. Edward. I must ask you and your wife to come to my office right now. You need to know something about your son. We're having serious trouble with him. What? Okay. I'm coming right away. Oops. Hey, where are you going? I'm not done with you yet. What happened? You will know it soon. His teacher just called me and told us to meet him at the office. Let's go.
at the teacher's office. Thank you for coming. First of all, you need to know that Patrick is a naughty and violent student. What are you saying? It cannot be. Please have a look. Hey, girl, what book are you reading? It's a story about a butterfly fairy. I see. Can you please stop reading for just seconds? Look what I have for you. Huh? Surprise. What the? A spider? Get off me. Hey, are you crazy? Why did you do that? Do you want some more? I still have more. No. Ha ha ha. How hilarious. Another time. You want to fight, huh? Bring it on. I don't mind that at all. Back to present. How embarrassing. I'm speechless. I will try my best to fulfill my duty as his teacher. But I also need your help. You two should spend more time managing and educating Patrick. Maybe that can help. Besides, I need to tell you that Patrick has been very bad at studying this time. He just got an F.A. few days ago. What? No way! He got an A+. Plus. I still have it by my side. Here is the proof. Oh no, this is bad. What do you mean? He lied to you. What are you talking about? All the answers he filled in on the test were all wrong. I will show you an example of his mistake. How could 6 multiples equal 686? Maybe he used this trick. Enough. I can't take it anymore. I will teach him a lesson. Thank you for telling us. Excuse us. Come on, let's go home. Hey, calm down. Are you crazy? Sir, you need to calm down. And please don't use violence on your son. Don't worry. Back to Edward's house. Oops, it seems like they are back. What should I do now? Aha. Bethany, Bethany, where are you? What? This is for you. What does this mean? I'm tired of playing it. Mommy, Mommy, Bethany took my iPad away from me. Hoo hoo hoo. What? You gave it to me. Bethany, how dare you bully your brother? Give it here. Here you go, son. Thank you, Mommy. You are the best. Courtney, I'm speechless. Hand over the iPad. Hey, what are you doing? Have you forgotten what you just heard and saw at the teacher's office? Do you still want to continue spoiling him? But he is my only son. Stop talking. Listen well, Patrick. From now on, I will be stricter with you. Don't even think about watching TV again if you can score a B on your next exam. Go to your room right now. I will talk with you later. Mommy, help me. Listen to him. You too? I will come with you to your room. Fine, I don't need it. You are not the best anymore, Mommy. Hey, how dare you speak to her like that? Enough, stop scolding him. Patrick, wait. Here you go, Bethany. You can have this as a reward. Thank you, Dad. I love this very much. You're welcome. But can I ask you for one more thing? Okay, say it. My friend invited me to a birthday party next weekend. Can I have your permission to come? Okay, no problem. You can go. Thank you, Dad. Put your iPad away. I will take you up for a shopping. I want you to look fabulous. It's okay. I still have some fancy clothes in my closet. But they are kinda old now. Just listen to me. Let's go. Yay! Next Saturday. Mommy, Mommy. I want to have a burger and french fries today. Can you please take me to Burger King? Oh dear, no. Not today, Patrick. Why? I'm having a fever. Can we go next week? No, I want to go today. Goodbye, Mommy. I'm going out now. What? Where are you going? I'm going to my friend's birthday party. No, you're not going anywhere. Did you ask for my permission? But Dad allowed me to go. No. I won't allow you. Take Patrick to Burger King and buy him a burger and some french fries, will you? Yes, happy day. 
Leave her alone, Courtney. Bethany, you should go right now or you'll be late. Okay, Dad. I'm leaving. Hey, what was that? And you, Patrick, go to your room and finish your homework before dinner. Otherwise, you will have nothing to eat today. What? I mean it. This is so unfair. You always prefer Bethany over Patrick. He is also your son. Look who's talking. You always prefer Patrick over Bethany. Bethany is always a reasonable girl. Unlike her naughty brother who always causes trouble. Even when you know it, you're still spoiling him. That's why I prefer her over Patrick. Whatever. Leave me alone. At the party. Hey, girl, you look fantastic. Thank you, Jean. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, girl. Enjoy the party. Okay, Jean. I will. Come on. Excuse me, girl. I have never seen you before. Do you mind if I want to talk with you? Wow. This guy is pretty handsome and charming. Girl, are you okay? He's talking to you. Oh, yeah. I'm okay. This guy is Paul. A senior in my guitar course. Oh, I see. My name is Bethany. Hello, Bethany. Well, it seems like he has a crush on you already. I'm leaving. Enjoy your privacy. Hey, where are you going? What's wrong? You think I'm going to abduct you or something, huh? No, it's not that. But I must admit that you're so handsome. Staying by your side makes me blush. You are so cute, you know that. Okay, let me help you to calm down. Oh, there is a guitar over there. Wow, you can play it well. Thank you. And from there, they started to develop a love interest in each other one time. Hey, watch where you're going, girl. You bumped into Meat Boy. Aren't you going to pick them up? I missed the part. Where's that my problem? <coughs> what the hell was that? Hey, are you crazy? Huh? Paul? No, I'm Paul. Are you trying to mess with me? You messed with my girlfriend first, man. You look like a well-educated person, so act like one. How annoying. I'm sorry, satisfied yet? Okay. Can I go now? Okay, have a good day. Are you okay? Yeah, thank you. But hey, did you just call me your girlfriend? Why did you say that? Well, I have a crush on you. Oh my god, I like him too. Bethany, are you okay? See you later. She is shy. What an adorable girl. After that, they became a couple three and a half months later. Paul, we've been together for more than three months. I want to invite you to my house to have dinner. I'm fine with that. But what about your parents? It's okay, Paul. You are a nice person. They will like you for sure. I hope so. Great. Then see you this weekend. Okay. At Bethany's house. Welcome to my house, Paul. Wow, this place looks like a palace. Your parents must be so rich. Yeah, you can say so. My dad is a talented manager at a game company. Really? That's fantastic. I love games too. Hello, bye. Welcome here. Hi, sir. It's an honor. Haha, <laughs> well spoken. Let's go to the kitchen and continue the conversation. Yes, sir. This is my family. Good evening, sir. Good evening, madam. I am Paul, Bethany's boyfriend. You look like a smart man, Paul. Thank you, sir. I have no idea why you fell in love with her. Courtney, enough. How could you speak such words about her? Whatever. I think she is cute, madam. Who are you, man? Why did you get in my house? Don't be insolent, Patrick. He is older than you. It's okay, Bethany. He's just a kid. Hello, little boy. I'm Paul. How it's going? This is how it's going. Hey, are you out of your mind? Get out of here, you naughty little boy. Ha ha ha. Are you okay? I'm okay. Listen, boy. We are so sorry for that. I will teach him a lesson. 
I think he is a kind man. Don't let Bethany bully you, boy. Please don't worry, madam. Bethany won't do that to me. I just wanted to remind you, kid. Thanks. Another time. Hey, do you have some free time this evening? I want to take you to my friend's house. We will have an overnight party. Yeah, that sounds great. When will you pick me up? 11 p.m. Okay, see you then. That evening. Hi, baby. How long have you been waiting for me? Just minutes. Sorry for keep you waiting. It's okay. Let's go, baby. But something bad happened to Bethany. At a construction site with no security guards. Oh, where am I? Look, she woke up. Hey, who are you? What do you want? Set me free. No, it's not going to be that easy. Paul, Paul. Hey, where is my friend? What did you do to him? He is not here, and he is going to hell soon. What? No? Don't worry, girl. You can still save him. How? It's easy. Give us $10,000. You have no other choices. We are on the ninth floor of this building. What? Are you crazy? I am just a student. But your parents are rich, right? Tell them to transfer the money to us. And tell them not to call the police as well. Otherwise, I will send you to meet your grandparents. All of them live in the countryside. Are you going to send me to the countryside, huh? Are you kidding us? But suddenly... Huh? What is that? What the... Oh no, I need to run. Huh? A policeman? Yeah. It's okay now. I'm here to help you. Thank you. I need to know who they are. Hey, get away from me. What? Paul? What is going on? I trusted you. How could you betray my faith? Leave me. It's not going to be that easy. Hey, cut it out. Okay, enough. Let us handle the rest. You too. Stand up and start moving already. Get in the car. My comrades will take care of you. What just happened? Officer, how did you find me? Well, you should meet this boy. I didn't know how but he came to the police station and reported his crime. Come here, kid. Hello, sister. Are you okay now? What? Patrick? Yeah, it's me. I know this isn't easy to accept, but Paul is a jerk. He cheated on you. I saw he was kissing someone else. Flashback. You better hurry up. I don't have all day. I know, I know. Give me a little more time. There's no doubt about the fact that I only love you, dear. I'm using that rich girl only. Fine, you can only love her money. Don't you dare to love her. Okay, okay. One last kiss before saying goodbye. Okay, enough someone you know might see us. Oops, sorry. Well, Paul is such a jerk. What is he trying to do to Bethany? I need to do something. I should follow her. Luckily, she always shares her location with us. Back to present. And when he came to pick you up today, I decided to follow you to find out what he was up to. But I didn't think he would dare to do that to you. Well, after all, I think you are not so naughty and annoying. Zip it, Bethany. You are being so cheesy. Yeah, all right. We are still siblings anyway. Okay, children. Let's go. I will take you home. Thank, Thank you, you, officer. officer. Back to their home. Get in your house. Thank you, officer. Excuse us. Okay. Come on, let's go inside. Patrick, where have you been? I told you to stay in your room and do your homework. Why did you run away? Come on. Can you just calm down? Don't scold him. At least give him a chance to talk. Dad, can I say something? Okay, what's wrong? He just saved me from Paul. What? Paul is a jerk. 
He and his girlfriend tried to abduct me to ransom. What? what? Really? really? Yes, that's right. Dad, Patrick is not so spoiled at all. He is just naughty. We can still teach him gently. That's quite shocking to me, but I can trust you, Bethany. Fine. I will think about it. Mommy, I want to say something, too. Say it, son. Can you please be as kind to Bethany as the way you treat me? Courtney, he's right. All right, okay. I will try. Good. Let's go to bed. I will take us to the zoo tomorrow morning to enjoy the weekend. Then we will have lunch at the restaurant. How does that sound? Yay, how awesome. I would love to. Me too, Dad. All right, so be it. It's been a while since the last time we went out together. Good. Then so be it. It's bedtime now. Let's go to sleep. Okay, okay Dad. Dad. The end.